Alrighty, honey buns, let's do your last message for today, this evening. So let's take a look and see how your person um, is thinking about you. Let's get an overall message for them. What your person wants to say to you. Take your love vitamin. If you'd like to book a reading with me or book the defamation class, you can do so by the website. The link will be down below. Let's take a look and let's see what your person is thinking about you. What's the overall energy oh excuse me y'all excuse me all right what's the overall energy between the two and the collective Ooh, your person views you as a wise leader i hear wise as a serpent gentle as a dove there's some you have the gift of knowledge on you the word of wisdom and your prophetic gift is likely showing itself to you. Yeah. You're independent. Um, they, your person admires your independence. Your person actually um, admires how smart you are, how wise you are. This is also a person that um, they've grown to learn and appreciate your mysterious ways. They also have grown and learned to appreciate your independence. I don't know why, but I'm hearing, you know how people settle and they get into relationships um, just to have one. They settle, to, you know, they, they will compromise themselves to have a significant other or a partner. Your person really appreciates that you don't do that. I also hear the words push back. If you're in a season where you're pushing people back because you have chosen yourself, your person, this particular person likes that. They find you highly attractive. This is also someone that sees you as a very spiritual and or religious person. The knowledge that you have, they utilize it. Your wisdom, they glean from it. Your prophetic gift, they are very... um enamored enamored by it this person right here definitely sees you as a breath of fresh air but they see you as a blessing in their life 14 breaking down to a five an adventurous person also the kind of person that brings about change you brought about change in love you brought about change in independence you also are a direct mirror to this person if they didn't like it before i can honestly say they're liking it now someone here is actually going to absolutely they're growing to love it 29 breaking down to an 11 there's a lot of intuition that you have they know that you are here to teach people they are it's something very specific and precise that your person learns from you you are inspiration to them you are also their muse they're entertained by you you wow this person they're at all they're at all by your character I need to say again because the Holy Spirit wants me to make reference to those of you all that you haven't settled. Um, you haven't compromised yourself, no matter what your age frame is. There could have been someone that was trying to make you compromise yourself in whatever form. They like the fact that you don't do that. You know better and you do better. This person views you as the kind of person like home. The home card reminds me of a person that feels very comfortable. Uh, some of you all here, this new cycle that you're in, this new cycle, you, you stand out from the rest. And that's what separates you. You give this person a sense of hope, substance. Thank you. You are substance. People can find many things, but they cannot find people of, you know, many people of substance. And that's what it is. You could remind this person of someone they grew up with in their home, mother, father, uh, grandma, granddaddy, auntie, uncle, sibling, whatever have you. But you have this person has a sense of home with you. They feel comfortable. They can be themselves. Um, and also they, they feel a sense of peace. Mm, miracles. 31 breaking down to a four. You've worked hard on your life. You've worked hard to get where you are. The, the miracle that you are occurring is not something that someone has easily given you. You you have weathered the storm. The 21 going down, 
shows a person that has come full circle. You're coming full circle into your higher self. Your higher self speaks for you. Your, your life speaks for itself. An alliance, this is someone here who really thinks about, you know, you and them really getting together. Uh, there, I, It's not just a conversation, but I actually feel like this person wants to meet up with you, link up with you, connect with you. This person has a lot of respect for you. This person don't respect many people, but you are one of the few. This person doesn't believe in many people, but you are one of the few. This person may not trust many people, but you are one of the few. You are one of the few people that... You know how people say things and they do the opposite. What you say is what you mean. You mean what you say and you say what you mean. Your life is your life could be very simple. You're not double-minded. You're not two-sided. You know, I'm sure you have different personalities, but you're not a person that say, you know, oh, I'm a goody two-shoe. Oh, I'm all that. No, you a person. You're you're normal. Let's just say that. You're normal. Your ass normal. That's good. You're not fake, is what I'm saying. You're not fake. You don't mind calling out your own wrong. You're, you're not too high on the horse. Uh, if if you have had self-esteem issues, that's changed. And the, the person sees that. Your beauty is in your confidence. Your beauty is in your knowledge. Your beauty is in your wisdom. Your beauty is in your um give word of knowledge. Um... You have a ministry inside of you that's being developed for somebody here also. I'm, let me look something up. I'm, I want to give it to y'all correctly. Hold on. I think it's word of knowledge. Word of... Uh... As soon as I look this up, it's going to come straight to my brain. Mm -hmm. Word of knowledge... Word of wisdom. I was right. Prophecy of life. Because that's what happens. Your spiritual gifts are easily noticed. And child, look here. The Empress card. Your spiritual gifts are easily noticed. When you speak, you speak with words of wisdom. Um, this If this is someone that believes in the Bible, they believe that you are a P31, a Proverbs 31 woman. Um, others of you all, this is a person that feels like you are very universally aligned. Others of you all, they like the fact that you um you mix uh you, I, I'm hearing a mixture of something you mix. It could be different cultures, religious, uh re religious and or spiritual beliefs. The prince of the princess of pentacles. You could be very young, but very wise for your age. Um, I hear the fountain of youth. There's a youthful energy that you exude. You also, um, if you're older, you could look very well for your um for your older, I heard older or elderly age. I heard the number 66. You could be 66, but still look as if you're in your 40s. All right, Holy Spirit, what does this person want to say to the collective? What's the message? Oh, goodness. <laughs> They've been, I hear a song, I've been thinking about you. <laughs> uh, they've been dreaming about you a lot. This is a person that they, this person right here, I'm going to tell you right now, they, they dream about you, they fantasize you, they fantasize about you, but there's a truth they think about confessing to you. Now, this can be a truth of, you know, yes, I like you, yes, I care for you, but this could also go, this is also a truth that they feel they want to share with you about their life. This is a person right here that's been in a specific area of life that you may not know. I hear a gray area. There's a gray area of their life and you may, now you have made this person comfortable to be vulnerable, to to come and speak with you not only about where they are but where they have been and they feel like you know i also hear they feel like your chip is off your shoulder they could have thought you were cocky but you're not cocky you could be very confident this person understands that you understand who you are and now they accept this person could have could have also had a hard time accepting something about you spiritually or religiously or just your um over overpowering a very strong energy or spirit so they didn't feel comfortable confiding in you but there is something this person wants to confide in you that you've never known it's about their life this, I don't think this is going to be a confession of feelings. This is about, I want to tell you something about me. Um, 
I was worried. I was concerned. I feel like you would have judged me, but I want to open up and I want to tell you something. I've been thinking about it for quite some time. It's been heavy on my heart. It's been heavy on my mind. I can't get it off of me. And I feel like you're the person I need to confide this in. What's the princess of cups? Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The six of um, swords. This person also wants to ask you for some advice. They not only want to confide in you, but they look, they look, it's, it's your gift. It's who you are. Uh-huh. This is the person right here. They, they, they only want to give you a little. Somebody here also wants to be in your presence because they know you can feel the energy. You can feel their spirit. You can tap in really quickly. So they, they feel comfortable coming around you now. It's not about them letting their guard down. They feel like I can be myself. This person is going to say, hey, you know, I discern you're going through something. I sent something about you. If you don't mind me saying this, you know, if you don't mind, may I say, may I say something? This person wants, to, wants you to do that. Because they want you to be comfortable being around them, being able to flow in this ability or this gift that you have. But they, they need that also. There is something about a person in their life they want to ask you about to look into. Like, what do you feel from this person? I I heard picture. What do you get from this picture? You know, I have a little gray area in this part of my life. I don't see something as clear. Do you think I'm looking at something from the wrong perspective? You know, am I perceiving things wrongly? If you don't mind me asking, what's your intake on this? This person has a lot of freaking respect for you. Also, this person right here feels like you're going to be honest with them. Um, and they're going to walk away with a smile on their face at the end of the day. What's the um devil card and the four swords? This is going to be a confession, but a different type of confession. Because I feel like somebody here, that they've been thinking about, you know, having a conversation with you. But before, you might have made them a little uncomfortable. Because some of, you know, sometimes when when you especially when you're dealing with the word of knowledge the word of wisdom that takes you into the prophecy of life you see things beyond your control because that's god allowing your reservoir to um flow into you and then the flow into the it flow into the universe of people so it can be intimidating so more than likely you intimidate this person and it was like nah they gonna judge me they gonna ridicule me they gonna you know eat my behind out so you could have also learned tech or need to learn some tech with your words because this person right here wants to ask you life advice holy spirit what's the four swords in the devil's card in the devil card what i told you the prince the princess of wands some of y'all young the princess of wands the two of cups this person is thinking about walking away from something letting something go this person wants you to use your gift and ability with them and on them they're thinking about becoming single this could be someone in your life this is also someone who's thinking about doing something very independently uh becoming an independent artist an entrepreneur a business um owner starting a new job but definitely i told you they want to talk to you they know that you know that they want to talk to you and they like that because they know that you um are going to give it to them straight and you're going to educate them it's something this person wants you to educate them on honey a lot of your gifts and abilities are heightened right now in case you didn't know that so i just want to say be careful with you know just regular you know, I, I don't want to say just regular but don't don't allow everybody to suck from you because when this right here is heightened people see your gift more than what you do sometimes and it, they will easily latch on to you don't allow folks to be an energy vampire because somebody here you, you vibrating real high but this person right here wants to have a conversation with you is something they feel like abandoning something it could be someone something they feel like abandoning something they feel like walking away from and they just want some sound advice this person trusts you a lot this is also someone who respects you this is also someone they don't have a deep emotional attachment to you they feel connected to you in the spirit they feel like you won't lie to them that's good that's very good all right holy spirit this person i've been thinking about you yep retreat into nature this may be someone that may ask you, let's go somewhere and get away, you know. This person is all about getting into a different atmosphere also. They could be going through a spiritual awakening. They're ready to come out of the closet. Child, look who this is. <sighs> look at them. So damn twin, child. I'm so done with that monkey ass. That slid up in there. Don't get mad at me, y'all, because I know y'all can't stand when that card come out. I kind of like it when they sneak in the reading at the end because, oh, my God, I was not 
expecting that because I was almost going to say, y'all, this may be a really good friend that you've had for a long time for some of you all. Some of you all, this could be a new friend, but a twin is always going to be a friend to you, especially in the spirit realm. That's why they want to talk to you because they feel like you will be a friend to them. A friend love it that, yeah. This this somebody here reading the Bible too, a whole lot. They've been cleaning up their energy and they feel like, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, twin, twin, twin. It's me. It's me. Okay, let me stop. Y'all know I like to run out. Look at there. This person may also ask you to forgive them. They've been in a great area of life. Even though they've been in a great and even though they have been in a great area of life, this is someone here who truly, truly admires you. They highly respect you. So you wouldn't want to be nasty to them. You know, whether it's your twin or just a regular friend or family member. But this person truly respects you and what you stand for. Because what you say, your you know, your integrity aligns with it. Your words don't go back and forth. That's really good. You have morals values you're not hypocritical but also this person had to see that you're not judgmental they can see that now all right choose love they want to come show you some love as well turn on your heart light yep this person has been reflecting thinking about you um and they feel like why not ask this person because i know this person cares for me this person may care for everybody but this person knows that you have that they have a special place in your heart Yep, and they want you to be supportive. This person right here needs like um, they may not need a helping hand. They need some guidance. Something they're ready. They're ready to abandon something if not someone. This could also be a job that they feel like, man, you know, I've been here for so many years. You know, the job is okay. I I like it, but I don't love it. You know, I make the money I need, but I feel like there's more. This is also about a life purpose. And actually, for some of you all here, this person feels like you can help guide and direct them in the spirit. See, God is smiling on this. I'm very I'm very proud of y'all. Oh my lord, child, look at there. <laughs> yeah, true love. Yeah, who's that lady? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm done with that. Ooh, ooh. Eva? Yeah. Yeah. Ear butters. How, how's it going out there? How y'all ears doing over here? Ow! Yeah. You got Virgo, you got Libra, you got Libra again, you got Leo, you got Aries. All right, these are people. Peace and blessings. Great day. You know I love you. Take that love vitamin. Here come your twin. Namaste. <laughs>